Humanity was never meant to stay grounded. We were born to explore. From the roaring rocket launches of the 20th century to the mind-blowing technologies of the future, the journey beyond the stars is no longer a distant dream. It's an imminent reality. The future of space rockets is not just about reaching new heights. It's about revolutionizing how we think about space travel, exploration, and even our place in the universe. Buckle up, because we're about to take a deep dive into the thrilling world of space rockets, from their propulsion systems to the next frontier of space mining. The power behind every rocket. At the heart of every rocket lies its propulsion system, the powerhouse that turns dreams of exploration into reality. Traditional rockets rely on liquid-fueled engines, which combine liquid oxygen and rocket fuel to create a controlled explosion that propels the spacecraft upward. These systems have been the backbone of space exploration for decades, powering iconic missions like the Apollo moon landings and the International Space Station launches. But the future of propulsion is about to get a lot more exciting. Enter nuclear propulsion. This groundbreaking technology could revolutionize space travel by drastically reducing travel times. Unlike traditional chemical rockets, nuclear thermal propulsion uses a nuclear reactor to heat a propellant like hydrogen, expelling it at incredibly high speeds. The result? A rocket that could cut the trip to Mars in half. Imagine traveling to the Red Planet in just three to four months instead of six to eight. This isn't science fiction. It's a technology that NASA and private companies are actively developing. With nuclear propulsion, missions to Jupiter, Saturn, and even the outer reaches of our solar system could become feasible within our lifetimes. But that's not all. Electric propulsion systems, like ion drives, are also gaining traction. These systems use electric fields to accelerate ions, providing a steady and efficient thrust over long periods. While they're not powerful enough for launches from Earth, they're perfect for deep space missions, where efficiency and endurance matter more than raw power. The art of reaching space. Launching a rocket isn't just about going up, it's about going fast, really fast. To break free from Earth's gravity and reach orbit, a rocket must achieve a speed of approximately 28,000 kilometers, 17,500 mph. This is known as orbital velocity. Anything less, and the rocket will simply fall back to Earth. Orbital mechanics is the science of navigating these incredible speeds and trajectories, ensuring that rockets reach their intended destinations. But it's not just about speed, it's also about precision. A single miscalculation in trajectory or timing can result in a mission failure. For example, in 2016, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket exploded during a pre-launch test due to a small error in the fueling process. The stakes are high, and the margin for error is razor thin. This is why engineers and scientists spend countless hours simulating launches, calculating trajectories, and testing systems to ensure everything goes according to plan. The future of orbital mechanics will involve even more advanced computer simulations, artificial intelligence, and real-time adjustments during flight. Imagine rockets that can autonomously correct their trajectories mid-flight or spacecraft that can navigate complex gravitational fields with pinpoint accuracy. The giants of space. When it comes to rockets, size matters. The bigger the rocket, the more payload it can carry and the farther it can go. Over the years, we've seen some truly colossal launch vehicles take to the skies. The Saturn V, for example, remains the most powerful rocket ever built. Standing at 363 feet tall and generating 7.6 million pounds of thrust, it was the workhorse of the Apollo program, carrying humans to the moon for the first time in history. Fast forward to today and we have rockets like the Falcon Heavy, developed by SpaceX. With the ability to carry over 64 metric tons into orbit, the Falcon Heavy is capable of launching not just satellites, but also cars, as demonstrated by Elon Musk's iconic launch of a Tesla Roadster into space in 2018. But the real game changer is SpaceX's Starship, designed to be fully reusable and capable of carrying up to 100 people, Starship is being built with one goal in mind, taking humans to Mars and beyond. The Game Changer One of the biggest challenges in space exploration has always been cost. Traditional rockets are single-use, meaning they're destroyed after each launch. This makes space travel prohibitively expensive, but that's all changing thanks to reusable rockets. SpaceX's Falcon 9 was the first rocket to successfully land back on Earth after launch, and it's since become a routine part of their operations. 
By reusing rockets, SpaceX has slashed the cost of launching payloads into space, making it more accessible to governments, companies, and even private individuals. This isn't just a technological breakthrough, it's a paradigm shift in how we approach space travel. Reusable rockets are also paving the way for more frequent and ambitious missions. Instead of building a new rocket for every launch, companies can now focus on refining and improving existing designs. The Space Race 2.0 The 21st century has ushered in a new era of space exploration, often referred to as Space Race 2.0. This time, it's not just a competition between nations. It's a collaboration between governments, private companies, and international organizations. NASA's Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon by 2025, with the goal of establishing a sustainable presence there. Meanwhile, China is building its own space station and planning missions to the moon and Mars. Private companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Rocket Lab are also playing a major role in this new space race. SpaceX, in particular, has set its sights on Mars, with plans to send humans to the red planet within the next decade. This isn't just a race to see who gets there first. It's a race to see who can build the infrastructure, technology, and partnerships needed to make space exploration a permanent part of human civilization, the future. Nuclear rockets and space mining. The future of space exploration isn't just about reaching new destinations. It's about unlocking the vast resources of the solar system. Space mining is one of the most exciting frontiers on the horizon. Asteroids, for example, are rich in precious metals like platinum, gold, and rare earth elements. Some estimates suggest that a single asteroid could contain more resources than the entire global economy. Companies like Planetary Resources and Deep Space Industries are already developing the technology to mine these celestial bodies, potentially revolutionizing industries on Earth. But to get there, we'll need faster and more efficient rockets. This is where nuclear rockets come in. With their ability to generate immense thrust and sustain high speeds over long distances, nuclear rockets could make missions to the outer solar system a reality. Imagine traveling to Jupiter in just two years or reaching the icy moons of Saturn, where scientists believe extraterrestrial life could exist. The possibilities are endless. The next frontier, mining space for resources. The age of spaceflight is just beginning. As we look to the future, the question isn't just whether we can explore space, it's whether we can harness its resources to benefit humanity. From mining asteroids to building colonies on Mars, the next generation of space explorers will face challenges and opportunities unlike anything we've seen before. Will you be part of the generation that steps onto another world? The countdown has begun, so don't blink. The future of space rockets is here, and it's taking us from Earth to the stars. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you.